What is up everyone and welcome back to another Let's Play that I'm going to be starting today. Today we are going to be starting Ratchet and Clank, uh, the reboot on PlayStation 4. Um, I'm starting with this one just for the pure fact that it's a lot easier for me to record PS4 directly off the system than it is for me to record PS3 because of the, uh, the whole uh, HDCP thing with, with Sony and the PlayStation trying to record ps3 and so it's a pain in the ass because i have the original trilogy on uh the hd collection and i have all the future games and into the nexus so i have a good i have you know seven ratchet games on the playstation 3 and yet i'm starting to choose i, I wanted to start with this one just because of pure fact that it's so much easier to record so i'm gonna be starting a new game uh Wow, that that's horrible. I have to beat the whole game. Well, I plan on beating the whole game anyway. So, but that that's bull that uh, it's gonna overrate my game instead of a multiple save file like every other fucking game. But this is gonna skip cutscenes for the pure fact that a lot of them are out of the uh, movie. So, uh, Move it out, which is fine. Identifying prisoner 117, ship Helix. You think you can break me, copper? Yeah, I've been in the darkest pits of the universe. Places that would make your vaults rattle. The eternity pits of Zord Doom, the iron holes in your balance. <laughs> Greetings, new fish. I'm Captain Quark. I I don't believe it. You're here. I used to dream of being arrested by you. Now get out of here. I was talking to you, Zed. Yes, Captain. So, new fish, I take it you followed my many, many adventures? Of course I have. You're the most famous superhero in the galaxy. He ain't famous anymore. <laughs> Words hurt, solitary Bill. I'm a huge How is he is, how can you talk in solitary confinement? The what? You know, the game based on that incident with you and that Lombax. Oh, you must mean the hollow film. Yeah, it's pretty good. If you like all CG. No, I mean the game. It's based on the hollow film. Look, here's my confirmation email. I'm having it mag ship to prison. <laughs> They're making a game based on the hollow film based on my life? But they haven't even consulted me. Oh, this is my fault. I've been away from my adoring public in this forsaken place too long. And now, no one will ever hear my side. I'd like to hear your side, Captain. You would? Well, <coughs> then sit down, wary criminal, and I'll tell you a story. It all started with a hapless Lombax named Ratchet. But how would you know any of this? You weren't fucking there. You green-headed motherfucker. Tiptoe through the window, through the tulips. Ha ha ha! Ha ha! Where do you think you're going? Hey, Grim, you're here. I I thought you'd be down at the bazaar shopping for gravity coils. Uh huh. Well, I'm here. I'm always here. I don't suppose you sneaking out would have anything to do with those Galactic Ranger tryouts? I just need one hour. Come on, Grim. These are the Galactic Rangers we're talking about. Captain Quark will be there. No leaving the garage until you help fix Mr. Micron's ship. Now get on that bolt crank. All right, so now we're Does finally ship look mad shut up. Get on that bolt crank. Come on. Look at this thing. Avionics fried. CPU fried. Even the gosh darn gravity coils fried. Okay, let's see if these new Versa bulbs work. Look up. Do you see something flashing? Yep. Left side looks good. It's a miracle. On to the afterburner lights. Look down. You see Lower left afterburner light checks out. This thing might just be space worthy after all. One more. Lower right afterburner works. 
So, are we good? Yep, we're good. The news says the tryouts are being held at the fairground. Show them what you got, kid. And so Ratchet began his adventure, hoping to become a galactic ranger. Gotta break the bolts. Break the boxes. All right. Anyway, now that we're finally in the game, um, the cutscenes that were used in this and in the movie are blocked by the, the PlayStation. Actually, blocks them automatically. Um, I'm not using a capture card. I'm using the PlayStation 4 Direct Capture software. So, which is perfectly fine. I'm not really too too worried about it because I, the quality is still good for what it is. But. But uh in order to best his foes, Ratchet used the warrior's time honor tradition of jumping. I go up here? No. Um So yeah, it's gonna be pretty much the only limitation, which it's fine anyway, because the movie the scenes in the movie aren't all that good anyway. And the, in all honesty, the movie isn't all that good. I used that stuff after a bank robbery once. It healed like Three out of five gunshot wounds. Ah, shit. So, I mean, like, if you were interested in the movie, just play the game, because, uh, the movie's ass. It really is. The movie's pretty bad, and I'm really disappointed to say I love Ratchet. Like, I've been playing this since the first game. Since, like, the first game actually came out when I was a kid, and I've been playing it ever since. And fucking, just to find out that the game sucks, or not the game, but the movie sucks, it was disappointing. Vanquished. Ratchet forged ahead. His destination. I have any guns? Destiny. Hell no, I don't have any guns. Oh fuck. Greetings, cadets. I run them to the Galactic Ranger recruitment event. Debbie in a training course, and let's test you by spy another contestant. Good luck, future ranger. Hello, recruit. Cora Verilux here. Show us how quick you can be on your feet by jumping over these obstacles. Oh, come on. A good ranger is always mindful of their surroundings. Hop across these moving platforms. You act like I never played a platformer before. Good job. You could be the recruit we've been looking for. Keep moving to the next part of the course. Hey there, recruit. I'm Brax Lectris, and my specialty is brute force. Let's see how well you can... Hey, that was pretty good. Oh my god, the evil boxes. Go ahead and grab a fusion grenade glove from this gadgetron vendor. Okay. Awesome. Next step, blow stuff up. Solana Galaxy is a perilous place, as evidenced by the large amounts of ammunition left sitting around in crates. Shut up, Quark. But yeah, uh, I was gonna do this on challenge mode, but then like starting from scratch is harder uh, than actually doing challenge mode with all your weapons upgraded. Because I had everything maxed out, so that uh, even on hard mode it was just too easy. So I decided, you know, going through the game from scratch would be the best thing to do for this. So. There you go. Ah, you bitch. Impressive. Could we be looking at Solana's next Galactic Ranger? Excellent job, Cadet. Come see me after the show. Huh. That wasn't so bad. Another one down. Who are you talking about, Court? I hit a box.
So it, it skipped the uh, cutscene after I beat the uh, Galactic Rangers tryout. So now that's why it's weird. We're jumping straight to Clank, but ain't nothing I can do about it. And it's kind of disappointing that in the movie, Victor Von Ion, Iron, whatever his fuck his name is, he's, uh, he was voiced by Sylvester Stallone, and then this game, they just got some generic asshole to do it. Oh my god, Cork talks way too fucking much. You're running, you useless piece of scrap! Ah, you bitch! Ooh, that's close. Get back here and let's settle this. Warbot to Warbot. They really talk too much in this game. The defect spotted a power box. This device could power up a variety of machines, but where should he throw it? But yeah, where should he throw it? Adding drama, man. Thank you, Shiv. I pride myself on my <clears throat> penchant for storytelling. What seems to be the problem, Victor? She won't get away from me, Chairman. I've got him right where I want him. And this isn't the hardest game in the world. I still think the hardest Ratchet game is the fucking original one because it's just the, the, the controls in it. But if I decide to do videos on that, I'll definitely uh, I'll go over that then. But I mainly wanted to do this just to kind of wait for... Uh, I'm still waiting for Jack 2 to drop on PSN. Because I, ha I have the Jack and Daxter trilogy. And again, it's just a pain in the ass recording PS3. So, I still have to find my component cables. I have a set. I don't know where they're at. But, uh... You think you can run from me? Not that brute again. So, it's just recording PlayStation 4 is a little bit easier. Well, it's a hell of a lot easier. So, anything with HDMI is so much easier to record. So, I think a lot of my, uh, multi-plat games from... Uh, like Xbox 360 and PS3. I think I'm gonna do them on 360. Or if I can play them on Xbox One, I'll just play them on Xbox One. But uh, I'm gonna rip you apart. Sprocket, but I mean like there's games that I can't really play on Xbox One, I'll just play them on the 360. And then I'm mainly gonna use the PS3 only for the exclusive games. Because uh, it's just a pain in the ass to record it. And we had to skip another cutscene, but that's okay. So now we're back on. A million thoughts raced through Ratchet's head. Could he it like recorded the fucking Would it be the key loading the screen. He Did he leave the proto engine on in the garage? The answer to all these questions was yes. So yeah, we had to skip a couple right, of cutscenes. Uh back to the garage. Pretty much what had happened was Clank crash landed on Velden, Ratchet found him. Of course in the original game it starts off with just Clank crashing on Velden and we and the first part of the game is just us trying to go find him. But uh they changed that a little bit in this one, which isn't bad, but large gaps were child's play to Ratchet. All he would need to get across is a trusty swing shot and a little bravado. Just trying to see if there's anything down there. I guess not. Yeah, the recording timed out. I didn't realize it, but uh, I found a combustor. It was just chilling right there. Impressive. 
impressive shooting. Nice work. You can't even see anything behind in front of you, Clank. Uh oh. doing here I have information in my data banks that poses a threat to chairman Drek. he must have tracked my position to your planet so he could get it back Grim, listen to me. I want you to lock the garage doors and then head down into the shelter I'll be there as soon as I can copy that ratchet shit ah ratchet is in a bad way hurt confused and alone I think that's all of them Uh-oh. Model X6Z to be exact. Also known as the dropship of death. Great. I don't know how you're supposed to take these fucking things out with stock ass weapons. annoying the beginning of this game can be just for the pure fact that you have no fucking weapons at all Drop ship. All right, Grim. Coast is clear. Can you open up? Ratchet, what is Zoni's name just exploded? How does he know what the Zoni are? Listen, get my tools ready. I just found something in the desert I need to look at. Interesting. What kind of factory is this? This? No, oh, this is just a garage. Lived here since I was a kid. Come on, let's get you fixed up. All right, well, uh, it was another block scene, so now we, it was just Quirk talking, and now we're on Novalis. Well, it's damaged, but I fixed worse. Come on, maybe there's someone in town who can help us. But, um, I'm going to save this for the next video. Uh, that was just a little introduction to the game. Um, there is going to be a lot of cutscene skipping just for the pure fact, like I said before, that the PlayStation blocks out certain scenes. So we're not going to get really the high quality movie scenes, but which is fine, again, because the movie was lame. So the cutscenes in this game aren't all that great anyway. Uh, the whole story is 
really easy to grasp onto without even watching the, the fucking, uh, you know, the fucking cutscenes from the movie. You really want to watch the movie? It's on Netflix right now. And it, it isn't even, I mean, it might be worth like a, it should have been a Netflix movie to begin with instead of coming out in theaters and DVD and Blu-ray and shit. It should have just been straight to Netflix because it was that bad. Or Hulu or Amazon or whatever. But I, I, I don't know. I'm not going to get into it right now because that movie aggravated the hell out of me. All right, guys. Well, uh, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all on Planet Novalis.